I was the first ever Gymshark athlete. I remember the first ever t-shirts and the first ever stringers and helping figure out what needed changing, what to adjust, and then being part of that first ever body power show and just thinking, this is gonna be something special. I think what brought us together was a like-minded vision. Mine for the lifestyle, the fitness and the nutrition that athletes should be following and their game-changing plans for the future. Now the game has changed and my life with it. As an athlete that was part of a company that was very different to the one that exists today, it would have been all too easy for Gymshark to move on from me, to forget their roots. But that has never been the case. The Gymshark family is no gimmick. Once you're part of this family, it will change your life. So ever since I was little, I've always, I've always been physically uh, orientated and towards the thing of my mother would, if I was cranky, send me out on a run and that would calm me down. I'd come back, I'd be happy, you know, I'd be uh, helpful probably more than anything. And I think everything from that moment of being a child and involved in sports through school and things like that is very clear. That's what I enjoyed doing. As I was getting older, I was starting to also involve myself more in the gym life, I suppose, as it was, as in terms of going to the gym, caring about my physique, caring about my health in terms of how do, you, how do I feel I look in the mirror, how do I feel about myself, is there anything I'd like to change? Not because of feeling inadequate in any way, like a lot of people feel it's, it's, it's more of a, what would I like to change, can I change it, and then setting that goal and this was this is the kind of sport and fitness and everything is to me is it's the ability to set goals set challenges and achieve those goals if you have the ability to change something and you don't take that that chance to change it you have no no rights to ever complain about that again i completed my degree qualified as a fitness instructor and at the same time was working another job within security within you know clubs and pubs and all that in the UK scene and one of the guys there was a Thai boxer so he took me into the Thai um, and what I got on there with was the level of respect and, and again teamwork that goes into if walking into a dojo of any kind. It's called fighting but fighting sounds so aggressive when the, the level of respect within that room is huge and the fact that they welcome new people through a door that they don't know and, and bring them into this little family. It was just, it, it's an overwhelming experience. If you, if, you, if you ever put yourself within such a tight knit little family in a team and they have people around you, helping you, supporting you and pushing you forward to challenge yourself when you don't think you can do something, you get frustrated and they just settle you down and push you forward again and push you forward again. And it, will get, it makes you realize that when you have the right people around you and when you're doing something you love, things you thought were impossible become very possible and in fact surpassable. Ended up picking it up pretty quickly and and long story short, after a few months of training there, I got coerced into maybe having a go at a little tournament. And at the time it was an old school, one of those old fashioned ones where it was a you fight, you stay on kind of thing. And I had five fights in one day 
and ended up winning this little local tournament. So four years on, I'm still fighting in MMA and it's, it's part of my life, it's part of my world. And I had a title fight, I dropped down from pro fighting down to semi-pro to get this title shot because it was, you know, it was another goal, another achievement to hit. And long story short, the, the fight ended up being a no contest due to a referee error. It was a massive come down, huge. And it was a bit of an eye opener and a realization as to um, what am I doing this for and why? And it was more part of the challenge and the love of sport in general that I was doing it for. And at the same time, I was given an opportunity to go down to London and do some shooting for a well-known magazine, a fitness magazine. You know, when something bad happens in your life, when something really does crush you, short term, yes, that's terrible and, it, and it, it, it can really affect you. But long term, sometimes those things that at the time seem bad are some of the best things to ever happen to you because they create and mold your future in a way that might not have ever happened otherwise. You know, maybe I was given an opportunity in life at that point and I took that opportunity and uh, that was where I came into the whole front of, of the fitness world and putting myself out there for people to see me as as something um, to look toward in terms of fitness and maybe lifestyle and things like that and that's where it led me to going to giving myself new goals and new challenges one of which was to compete in a bodybuilding show hi guys this is Lex from uh, NBR natural bodybuilding recognition and uh, this is my little blog uh, for the questions that you've been asking regarding the diet front Obviously, uh, I'm competing now in the WrestleMania on 31st of July, so we're not too far, about two weeks out now. So it was for these shows that I was getting ready for. I was, you know, I'm not gonna, when I started, I was completely bro. You know, I was doing everything. It was, it was, it was the classic, you know, sacrifice to win style. Heavy training, heavy cardio, low food, sacrifice to win and um, it started to grind me down a little bit and having the biology degree background I was always very interested in looking into the nutritional side of things again and it was within one video that I put up and it's I'm two weeks out from the show and it's at this point most people are coming towards the worst in these times you know they they get very tired they're looking very drawn and here's me sat in the sunshine outside in the back garden of the house shades on having a barbecue and I had a good physique, you know, I was very lean, I was, I was very aesthetically appealing and uh, so people started to take note that I'm looking like this whilst having a barbecue, eating the usual go. British thing, Food sausages and sausages white bread and, bread and whatnot and uh, the actual, the, the owners of Gymshark stumbled across this video, looked into it, looked into who I was and it was actually that one video, that one point in time, that video that I put online, put myself out there for other people to see that there are ways of doing things that, that you love and maintaining your life and balance and it was this they cottoned on to this it's always a little bit different that made them get in contact and that was that was the first part where myself and Jim Shark came together when I say Jim Shark at this point we're talking about a couple of guys with a great idea who had just started out they were printing their own stringers and t-shirts at their parents house they would send me some of the items that they were thinking of making so they would literally have these items made then they would print them themselves send them to me i'd wear them literally train test them from every angle i could and then i would send back my own ideas as to saying you know there needs to be a couple of inches here tightening in at the waist if we could just take a, a, a an inch off the strap either side that's going to make it sit a little better they take back on board what i'd say to them and every time another item would come by it just got better and better and better and it was it was clear that you know we were progressing in a really fun way but it was it was it was always going to be something great but it was also something we enjoyed doing you know it was fun to see what changed from the simple ideas we took to the, the next step the next step the next step you can see it now in today they've gone continued to innovate, they continued to keep surpassing themselves in ideas and that's what it's about. When people say family, it's not a gimmick, this isn't, we say it ourselves because it's the only way you can describe it, whether it be the people behind the cameras, in front of the cameras, us that you see on a daily basis or the people that are wearing the products as well, you're representing a movement, a lifestyle, a feeling because I have people coming up and showing me a picture of what they were like and there's this other person stood in front of you. This happy, smiling person stood in front of you who has lost maybe 60, 70 pounds, weight you can't even fathom losing and they stood there smiling, so happy and 
to think that you've had any part in changing that person's life for the better is huge and that was fueled by what Gymshark created. They allowed me to have everything that I have today. Yeah, I, I, I love what I do on a daily basis. I wake up and I don't not enjoy anything about the day. Hard work is, is only hard work when it's something you don't love doing. And I even met my partner, Lainey. We met through, <laughs> it's a small link, but it was a link nonetheless that was Gymshark. And it was a simple fact that, that they sent her some clothing, which put her onto me. And as a result, over time, we connected through Gymshark. And we've been together two years now. We have a, a fantastic life. We have two, two little dogs. We have a little family, you know. And it, it's crazy to think, again, all this just came from this moment with Gymshark, this, this commitment that we, we gave to one another. And there's no way of thanking them other than carrying on doing what I'm doing and showing, trying to show people, trying to, trying to help others see you know, this, this, is, this is not just a brand, this is a movement. Intangible feeling of, of they, they know what they want and there's nothing that's gonna stop us at Gymshark from creating the lives we all want to live.